Welcome everybody to another episode of Live Wire Film Reviews. It's me, Peter Mann. What's up? And today I'm going to be reviewing, you guessed it, War for the Planet of the Apes. The film follows up from the events of Dawn of the Planet of the Apes uh, with the events of Koba, humans and apes are at war for two years. Caesar must exact revenge from the new character of the series, Colonel, played by Woody Harrelson. Pros of this film, while the CGI is unlike what you've seen ever displayed on the big screen, Andy Serkis does just beautiful work. This guy really needs to get an Oscar for his role as Caesar. Uh, the other characters, Maurice, uh, Rocket, and the new addition of Steve Zahn as Bad Ape. Really compelling work. Steve Zahn brings upon a little bit of comic relief in the film that deals a lot with the heavy. This is an epic film. It just feels epic. Delayed scenes of action. Film is much more focused on the emotions of all characters involved in this. Caesar is just wrapped up with vengeance and is reminded and kind of haunted by Koba, who we see in scenes of hallucinations. Another big plus of this film would happen to be Woody Harrelson's ruthless colonel. Just the actions of this guy and he plays it brooding. He's just really pissed it's uh, Caesar and him together so beautifully that the film strong suit is in this. This film happens to be one of the strongest action films in the summer of 2017. There's always got to be cons to a film and I would just say that minimal negative effects of War for the Planet of the Apes, it just feels, again, maybe a little bit heavy handed. The third act runs a tad bit long with a lot of walking sequences but other than that uh, this is just grade A stuff. With the buzz of War for the Planet of the Apes it definitely ends the series of strong films with Rise, Dawn, and now War for the Planet of the Apes. Uh, I love this series and Matt Reeves is a capable director. We're in good hands with the Batman because everything that he does in this film I want to see done in the Batman. This film deserves a solid four stars. This is Peter Mann from Live Wire Film Reviews. Check out our brand new exclusive podcast of this film review and others down below on the link for soundcloud.com. We are going strong on soundcloud.com. Don't worry, we're holding it down. And also leave um, a comment down the bottom and be sure to subscribe. As always, this is Live Wire Film Reviews.